And welcome, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry. I'm the Necroscope, and it is time to get on with the rest of the game. Now, I've had various issues in recording this, unfortunately, folks. Um, not to do with the actual computer not being able to run it, because of the actual recording processes. Now, usually what I use for emulated games is I use Hypercam. However, for whatever reason, I'm not 100% sure what's causing it or why it's happening. I, the options that used to work for my recording, setting up my codecs and... Basically, I, I used to have Hypercam 2 working absolutely perfectly on Vista. However, on this one, which is Windows 7, totally different build, so it could be a, a quite a few different reasons, I can't get it to work correctly. So I'm in a bit of a situation there. Um, but regardless, we have it running, and I think you'll agree, this is damn good quality for an emulated game. We're ready to get on with it. Now, just to give you a bit of a... F fill you in a little bit, I've actually... Um, thinking about things, I've restarted anyway, because as most people, you, most people will know, at the moment, I've only just got my computer back, it's been in and out of the shop for a while, and it looks like it was caused by a faulty keyboard, would you believe? Now, I'm not 100% sure what was causing it or why it was being caused, but considering now that it's worked for like 80 hours straight, and I've got a new keyboard and new mouse, and they're, sorry, just a new keyboard, and that's the only thing that I've changed, it seems to be working. Um, very strange situation that was, but anyway. I've gone back and done the last three missions. I've also done the secret mission, so we're a little bit... Uh, that is a cool move, Dante, my friend. We're a bit better clued up. We've got a few more red orbs. We've got an extra devil trigger. That's because I managed to get three S ranks, I think. So that gave us 800 orbs. So we're pretty doing pretty well at the moment. Anyway, we've now got... This is mission four. I didn't show you the intro to it. But mission four is interesting, because there's actually three secret missions on this one alone. And here's the first one. Mission Phantom Baby. Defeat the 100 Phantom Babies within the time limit. Let's do it. Now on this one, you can just use your guns mainly. Get the rest of them over here. Come on, we're going to do it in time. Yes. Mission complete. And that's a fairly easy one, that. I don't know what it is about Mission 4, folks, but there is actually three secret missions alone. Hello, big boy. Come for some more pain. I've also invested in the Stinger move, folks, and I've also invested in this one, which is called Air Raid. Come on, time to die, big boy. Got ya. Now, interesting area this, because you can actually save after you've killed him, reset, and you can just can actually constantly farm this guy if you want to, from this point. Second secret mission. Phantom Baby 2. Defeat 100 Phantom Babies within the time limit without using any weapons. Bit different. Bit different, even. Trick to doing it. Devil Trigger, you can run around like a madman. And we're done. Also, whilst I'm in here, there's a blue orb fragment. Nice. Next level of health. And there's also a blue orb fragment here, I think. Yes! Well remembered. Missed that one earlier. Second secret mission, Kalia. I think I'll just switch to the shotgun, I think I need that now. Now because I picked up the 
Was it the melancholy soul or something? No, I know what it was. It was the pride of lion, wasn't it? Now, if anybody who's played this game, you know what fight's coming up. God damn it. There's an immense power that will not allow one to get any closer. Before I can confront the lion, I'll need a sign. Shall I use the pride of lion? Yes. And without further ado, folks, may I introduce to you some of the toughest normal level enemies in the game. Say hello to the killy killy, the killer kitty cat known as Fan uh, Phantom, that's not his name, known as Shadow. You're not getting me today, big boy. Horrible things to fight, these. Now, when that car is exposed, take it out. And then run the fuzz away. They have got... S ah, gotcha. Now, I killed him quicker than I usually do, actually. Usually, he kicks my ass. Where did his car? Ah, there's his corpse. Didn't drop many red orbs, did you? You might be wondering why I'm going back. Well, because again, there's a secret mission to get. And the secret mission is all the way back down here. Now, this mission. Many people struggle with it, and I'm one of them. Oh, by the way, folks, I've perfected uh, save stating for Devil May Cry, which makes it kind of useful so I don't have to keep restarting the level if I fail a secret mission, because they can be very frustrating that way. And it'd only sort of make the Let's Play more difficult to record. So anyway, the three beasts fight the shadow. We only have one chance. Come on! Let's rock, you stupid kitty cats. Basically, three shadows. I kid you not. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's one dead. Damn you. Now, what you've got to do is, when the... Just... There you go. Damn it. Get away, Dante. Fuzz it. There's just so much to have to think about in this damn mission. Nice try. Damn you, you dipstick. Come on, get him. Fly away for a minute. Problem is, right, even if you've exposed the cars, Dante's a bit stupid sometimes. And he'll actually target the active shadows rather than the one with the car out. Them little things they're shooting out, them like long sticks, that's what she said, you can actually jump on them. Nice try. And you're gone. This move about that move I was using there, folks, that's called air raid. Damn it, you got me at last minute. Dirty, dirty thing. A lot of people struggle with that one though. And you can see why. I mean three shadows at this point in the game is quite a, a big number. Now there is a few, as a few people who know the game probably have already realised, there is a few red orbs that I've missed. Not red orbs, blue orbs, sorry. Um, that are in kind of generic areas in... I could get them now if I wanted to, but there's quite an important time where I can actually have a bit... Oh, hello, Sin Scythes. On down.
I'm not killing them all, because as far as I'm aware, they keep respawning in that room. Now don't bother with them. Just drop right to the bottom. Going up in the world. Death sentence, a decorative sword used for rituals. It cannot be used as a weapon. And drop down. Out of my way. Now for anyone who's played the demo, I just know this room like the back of my hand, basically. Firstly, it's a statue of a female with a melancholic expression. There's an opening to place something. That's a good uh, good observation there, Dante, but we don't really have time for that. All women have that opening to place something. It's called a mouth. Shall I use the death sentence? Yes. Oh, you could stab her boobs, of course. The melancholy soul. An ornament resembling a soul. When activated, it loses its power over time. Oh, spider sense is tingling. Bloody hell, look at him. This stinking hole was the last place I thought I'd find anyone with some guts. Oh, now that is just awesome, man. Clicking your fingers, opening doors. That is the proof that you are a cool, cool dude. Now, for anybody who doesn't know who that is, I'm not going to put any spoilers out. His name is Nilo Angelo, and I have fought this sucker so many times, basically from playing the demo. This part always gives me shivers. Let's rock. Bring it on, Nilo! Round one. Come on! Ah, you coward. You can run, but you cannot hide. Damn, I would have done that without actually taking a hit there. That was just me being cocky. Come on, Nilo. Damn. Glow all you want. Ain't gonna work. Ow. Good shot there, sir. Taunting him to his face and nearly got hit. Come on! Gotcha! Finish him off, Dante. Oh, decide to lose the fight altogether. Ha ha ha! 